In a few days, I'll be back here to put a new tube in this transmitter. But before we do that, there's another important tool that I want to tell you about. If you want to turn a transmitter on, you need to have something connected to its output. Normally that's an antenna up on the tower. But remember when I talked about the antenna switchers we have in our transmitter sites? This antenna switcher is how we send either the main transmitter or the backup to the antenna. It's motorized and controlled by a panel we have mounted in the racks. That switcher actually has two outputs. One goes to the antenna, obviously, but the other goes to something like this. This is an air-cooled resistive test load. Radio folks call them dummy loads. Electrically, it behaves just like an antenna when you connect a transmitter to it, but instead of radiating the RF energy, it absorbs that energy and converts it to heat. Running a transmitter without an antenna attached is very dangerous. All the RF power sent up the feed line will be reflected back to the transmitter, which can damage it. These systems are meticulously tuned to ensure as much RF is radiated from the antenna as possible. At this site, our transmitter power output is 20 kilowatts, but our reflected power is usually around 100 watts. This is actually a little high for a broadcast facility, but all the radio stations at this location are sent through a combiner to a single antenna up on the tower. While we work on calibrating the power amplifier inside the HPX transmitter, we'll make good use of this dummy load so we don't accidentally interfere with our own signal from the main transmitter sitting right behind the camera. If you like this video, follow for more broadcasting content.